this is WWJ whipping with Joe anyway if you notice in front of you you've got some real seats and uh, bring this to your attention this is on the Fenwick uh, anyway I want to say thank you very much for watching my videos and your comments and your inquiries and uh, showing your pictures and some of your videos of you catching fish using my techniques I appreciate that and I know you're having fun so anyway what we have is we got five rods this is the old HMG plain one actually there's one before this there's quite a bit actually but there's a generation before this one here that if you notice there's a lock nut here all of these have a lock nut one two three four five all got a lock nut the problem is this on the older HMG before this one at least you didn't have the lock nut so you can have a bigger reel foot that fits in here like a pen especially okay but when they went to this design this design cannot handle a 5,000 pin because the pen foot is bigger Shimano is one of the smallest uh, real foots but anyone this one will fit the Sparrows this is the original HMG not original but the one I've been using there's one before this of course but this one here that was my go-to for longest then back last year they made this inshore and this one is the HMG inshore if you notice the real seat is bigger than the HMG medium heavy this is medium heavy inshore seven foot and then you've got the seven six this is the seven six real foot right here medium not medium heavy medium and you compare this to the seven foot medium heavy this real seat is bigger compared to the seven six medium then I received this one here yesterday this is the set the one on the left seven six medium and the one on the right is seven six medium heavy and this what I found out anyway well this is the eight foot the one on the right there's an eight foot heavy here so eight foot heavy here so the real seat is way bigger accommodate bigger reels the problem with the eight foot is that the spheros at uh okay, hold on, I'm gonna measure this thing here so I'm gonna make sure that when you buy a reel the foot fits so we start at two here it's gonna be a little larger than two and a half okay. if your real foot is two and a half and larger you will fit this one here the eight foot and also you will fit the medium heavy seven foot oh this is the seven six right there seven six medium heavy but this was the problem We'll do this here. Okay, remember, this is the eight foot here. This goes all the way to the top. Can't go any further, so that ain't gonna fit. Eight foot is down the tubes there. <laughs> so I got these for sale. You can walk them out, especially on Kauai. If you want them, I got them here. Now this is the newest one. Inshore. This is the medium heavy. Just got it in yesterday, and this like. I'm going to lock this up to the top here, so you can see this here. You got to lock this to the max, like, I mean, you really got to really tighten this guy up. The reason is because it's, the foot don't, don't seat properly. It doesn't seat properly. Okay. So let's see if we can move the reel. So there's a little play in it. It's still got a little play in it. I mean, you really got to lock it. Mm. When I tried it yesterday, I figured it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. But uh, it does fit. So the Sparrows will fit the 7.6 medium heavy. The 7.6 medium. 
and uh, seven foot inshore and also the seven foot HMG. So, um, I'll say this, this is not as heavy as the Elite Tech. Um, the Elite Tech for the 7.6 medium heavy is heavier. The, the front end here is heavier. Uh, but the, this one seems to be okay. It's only 0.6 ounces lighter than the Elite Tech for this one here. And the Elite Tech is a higher price one, but this is a new technology. This is made of 30 ton, 30 ton. Thing. But I'm going to show you the difference between these two here. I've, I've done this before. You'll notice that the HMG, hard to see, but the HMG here, this is the old type, and this is the HMG inshore. The blank is larger, but like I said, this is a 30 ton. This is just graphite, you'd say, so I'm not sure what the technology is. This is a, the most current technology, I guess, 30 ton blank. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you with all these rods. Like I said, I, I'm happy to say that the spheres does fit. I was thinking, whoa, it wasn't going to fit and I'd be in big trouble. But it does fit. So I'm going to field test the HMG inshore. Uh, probably not with the spheres, probably with another reel. And uh, we'll see how this one works out. Anyway, again, this is WWJ whipping with Joe. Eight foot does not fit. Your real foot has to be over like two and three quarters. Then it'll fit. Your real foot gotta be over two and three quarters. Then it'll fit this eight foot rod. This one is barely fit. Like I said, you gotta like you gotta. I'm not sure, it's, but it's like it's it's always maxed out. And uh, but uh, it feels lighter. Then uh, the uh, Elite Tech by 0.6 ounces. I'm gonna check this one here. Yeah, 76 medium heavy. Only the real tip is bigger, and uh, the eyes are larger on the medium heavy. Almost similar to the similar to the uh, seven. This is the uh, seven foot. This is the seven six. Both of these are medium heavy. When you go to the light. You notice the guide is smaller. Guide is smaller. And this is the original HMG, same guide number basically. Anyway, thought I'd share it with you again. So, this is the new 76 medium heavy. Fits the spherules. And now, I'm going to see the specs of the guy here. HMG 76 medium heavy. Fast spinner. 76 medium heavy fast. Three quarters to two and one half ounces, which I'm popping two ounce lures. The lure, oh yeah, well the lure is two in from three quarters to two and a half ounces. Your line, mono line, is from 15 to 30 pound, or braid, 20 to 50 braid. And this one was made in say January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, the tenth month, November, October. May was October 20th. This is when the rod was made. Anyway, so I thought I'd share it with you. And by the way, how you how you know that? This codes here. Zero one is always zero one because that's the first of the month this is. And H A is January, B is February, and it goes on like that. January, February, March, April, May. So five would be May. Is H, so that would be October. And the year twenty. We made all these rods in twenty. The earliest one I've seen right now I think is D, which is April of I got one of these things as an inshore rod. By the way, this rod, if you went to Fenwick, or you went to Pure Fishing, you went to Cabela's, you went to Best Pro, you went to uh, see Fish USA, you went to Tackle Direct, Tackle Warehouse, um, I mean a lot of different other places I tried, Dick's, you, you, you can't find this rod, the inshore, it's basically it's basically like gone out of stock like ASAP since September. Basically very difficult to find. But anyway, uh, if you want them, I got them on Kawaii. Anyway, you can message me. But again, this is WWG Whipping with Joe. All these rods.
limited lifetime warranty then feel the action Ooh. aloha